Hey guys, in the words of Arnie, I am back. I'm not going to go into a long explanation as to why it's been like four or five weeks now, but I am sorry and I'm back and thanks for the people that have stayed and thank you, I've literally got like 1,000 more subscribers since my last video, which is crazy. I know 2,000, like I'm almost at 2.5k subs, which isn't a lot compared to, you know, most YouTubers and stuff, but for me that's quite amazing. I'm really thankful that you guys actually enjoy or at least find my videos a bit entertaining and interesting I don't know if I'd be interested in my own videos <laughs> but now I'm just getting whatever thank you shouldn't have said that derp 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 anyway this is like the third or fourth time I've introduced this video and it always ends up being 10 minutes so I just need to shut up I'm not converting my old game file over because half the mods have been updated to the new game data system folder and I just couldn't be bothered to uh, it just seemed like a lot of work for no reason really we didn't have a lot over anyway we, we had a few bits over at Juno um, I'm still going to be making the International Space Station I've kept that game directory as 0.19 whatever it was, 0.19.1 or 2 whatever it is so yeah, I'll carry on building that on that one. But we're going to start fresh here. And I'll quickly introduce this. If you don't know, you probably know. Because... Yeah, you've probably been watching like Scott and stuff. But this is the extra planetary base. Like, launcher. Well, yeah. It's kind of like a second space center, in a way. This is a launch pad where you can launch anything you've built in here or the space plane hangar. That's a runway which I haven't actually played with yet, but that folds out, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's not as simple as when Scott showed it. Now you actually need to do your mining and stuff because it actually requires rocket parts and fuel liquid. Yeah, you need all your fuel and stuff. Like if I wanted to launch the Kerbal X from another planet, I'd need the right amount of rocket parts here and the fuel liquid oxidizer blah 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 so yeah to make the rocket parts needed you need to mine ore convert it into metal that's what these containers hold by the way and yeah so you mine the ore convert it to metal which then converts into rocket parts which you can then use to build your pre-built VABs and launch straight from wherever you put this sucker. Unfortunately they built this really nasty. Firstly this is set to this way so like it's kind of annoying to build around unless you're doing it in a space plane hangar I guess. Like if I stuck it there even though it won't unless I put part clipping on and try to do you know symmetry uh, it would go round this way instead of sideways it's really sucky and annoying because it's kind of horrible building it this way up because it just makes it awkward and nasty and it looks horrible too so yeah what I'm basically saying is it's pretty horrible to build it as an all-in-one unit so I've gone ahead and built them separate and then I've got the Kerbal attachment system and I'm gonna basically plug them all together so when I deploy them uh, they'll all be down on the ground and plugged into a central power station which I have built and we're going to send up first because we need to scan for caffeine and ore this time instead of just caffeine and yeah the new kit this modifies I think caffeine has actually been modified itself now to include ore which is really cool so you scan for both caffeine and ore and they're not in the same pockets either which is kind of annoying I think you can find them but it is kind of annoying in a way too so yeah I've been trying to keep this brief and I've already waffled on um, I'll just quickly show you what I've built and then I'll just we'll go straight to launch I'm gonna put it over at Mimbus first because I haven't tested it yet and I don't want to go too far and find out it doesn't work so this is the rocket part module here, I've evened it out with two just so it, yeah, symmetrical. Um, yeah, I've kind of made them all into little base buildings and I've got the little plug there. 
so what I'm going to do is put the power station in the middle and then deploy these around the power station and plug them in so that's pretty cool as well I kind of like that idea of doing that I was going to use like wireless but I thought nah it would be better and more fun having it all plugged in like it's kind of genuinely legitimate so that's that and then I've got the launch pad which looks pretty funky Reminded me of like a little, I don't know, octopus alien kind of thing. It didn't really, I just thought of that on the spot, because I'm a derp. So yeah, plug. Simple. Uh, 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 and... Do, 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 do. The smelter. This is just horrible, I really don't like the way they designed this. It's so ugly as well. Yeah, I don't need that probe anymore either. Can I get rid of it? No, because I used that to start building. Annoying. Alright, anyway. So yeah, and then that's all that. This should work. And I've got four rocket park containers here. Two ore and two metal. So basically we'll mine it, obviously. It will store there. We'll use the smelter here to smelt into metal and convert into rocket parts. I think the converter is actually the rocket part thing here. But obviously when they're all plugged in they should all register as one ship because it will be docked. Hopefully that's how it works. So let's just go ahead. I've got the crew manifest mod so I'm gonna be launching you guys back up. Um, I've already chosen who's gonna go in here purely because of the amount of comments and moaning they done. I think they deserve to go up first. Okay guys, I realised that my microphone was muted um, when we got into orbit I was talking and I said those beeps are too loud but yeah I got into orbit and I realised there was no caffeine around the equator so I put it in polar and now I'm letting it scan so we can actually get 
caffeine and ore pockets together and I found one so far here just around here the around like 2980 mark there's caffeine here and also ore which is cool and then I also thought because they don't seem like whoa that's a lot that last scan wherever that was 448,000 litres. Yeah, then I thought that if the ore runs out, um, I should really have a mobile ore platform, like a mobile caffeine one too. So, yeah, I'll probably have to send up a mobile. I don't know how much we're going to use and what the conversion rate's like, to be honest. So. But yeah, if we run out of ore at one of the deposits, then obviously I'll send over a mobile drilling module to get some of this ore that's dotted around but yeah so far I'm pretty much sure we should just go there for now to the this area um, I'm not sure where it is though like the mouse coordinates are different to or are they uh, maybe they're the same. I don't know, I usually just do it by eye. I look where it is, and then kind of, when it's near, I'll just look left or right to see where we're supposed to be going. I'll let it scan a little. Actually, we're coming down beside it now, so... It'll be... If it's going up, it'll be on the right, so... I'm getting all confused now. So we're going this way, so it'll be on the left. So yeah, it's just around there now. So around here is where we want to go. Pretty sure anyway. Okay, so just remember that area. It's literally here, I think. Unless I'm being retarded. If it's on that f flat ridge that'd be sweet because that looks nice and flat, but if it's in there then it's going to be nasty. I guess I'll find out. So what I'll do, I'll try. I'll land on this edge here, and I'll keep the scanner going once we're getting down, and then I can obviously just go left or right. There, yeah, just ore in its own. Or, yeah. So yeah, so far we're gonna go here. And I'm gonna cut, and I'll just let it go around a bit more, but and then because I'm doing something, so I'm just gonna chill for a bit and let that map, and then I'll land here. All right, so I'll see you guys soon. All right, so I don't, I couldn't be really bothered to wait anymore. Let's bring her down over here and see if I was right or wrong. Pretty sure that's where it was. But anyway, we're close to the manoeuvre now, set up my node, I know the planet's rotating under us as well which doesn't help but I feel so rusty, it's, it's kind of fun playing again because I did get a little disheartened but that's not why I stopped by the way alright so let's just burn there. Okay, so we should be heading this way. Yeah. Alright, cool, so that's the spot. Now let's go have some fun. Which way are we going? That way. So where's that flat ridge? I'm not sure how high it is either. Also, we're going to ditch that stage. Please tell me that's come off. I don't have RCS. Um, yeah. What's this one? Detach. I don't like this. What the hell? Oh, that's... Okay. That can go up top. And... Okay, we should be safe. 
I think I know what I'm doing now. Let's get the legs out. Uh, I think I want it that way. I'm so confused lately, like rotation wise. It's going to be fun when I go back to the ISS. Anyway, I think I'm going to have a few practice runs and get my docking back up to scratch. Okay, so. Whoa, again, right over there. Okay, so. I think it's that part here. Yeah. Alright, and we need to go, I think, this way, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which way I'm orientated now. I'm a bit confused. You know what, so let's just get this down. And then I'll sort it out. Because I feel so rusty right now. So it should be that way. Pretty sure, anyway. Let's just go this way a sec. So I don't. Yeah, it is this way. So we should hear it beep any second. Yes. Okay. Let's get down. So we can actually get on the edge here. That's it. Awesome. Yay, I'm not a complete noob. Alright, sweet. So this edge should be good for both. Pretty sure. Oh. So now I just need to get her down without breaking her. Alright, let's get rid of that. And let's just focus on getting down. In fact, I can actually get rid of this as well. <laughs> Bye. Every little part counts. Okay. I'd like a shadow. Just so I know exactly where I am. Okay, we're coming in quite fast now. Shadow, where are you? Oh! <laughs> where is my shadow? new shadow. There you are. Okay, I can. I want to go full screen like I used to. Gangster style. Look at that. Beautiful. Now I'm not sure if I'm directly on it or not. I should be. Okay, that'll do. Okay, so we're down. 
and we got a beautiful oh look cabin and the moon pretty sick and the sun I do like this pod although that gets in the way okay guys so um, we're not going to actually know if this works until next episode um, I'll send over two parts next episode but this was kind of a welcome back whatever that was that just blew up let's just check we were working yeah cool so oh yeah that would help let's get rid of that turn SAS off which one's that that one so yeah these are the plugs I oh, just put the lights on fancy schmancy so I also read that um, if you want to plug things in and you don't want them to break when the physics loads and things you should have five meters of slack so what I'll do is I'll plug them in and then I'll extend them by another five well I'll do it by ten meters but it should be cool so next episode I'll deploy something that's close here and maybe there depends the size of the things how close I'll get them basically we have three things and then an interchangeable thing will be going here although I should just have a fuel depot here I guess and then we'll just keep restocking the fuel with caffeine and stuff and if we run out of ore here I'll just obviously mine ore somewhere else with a mobile miner and bring it over but that's pretty much it for now let's just retract that and get rid of this there is one thing I'm wondering um, on the mobile launch pad if I can because obviously I can't edit here but I'm not sure if the VAB because it loads from the VAB I'm not sure how it acts so it'd kind of be annoying I might have to send over Kerbals on a bus <laughs> to yeah uh, supply the vehicles we load from it but I'm not sure yet I haven't tested it but yeah I hope you like it um, uh, I still do have my crew roster list of all the people and what they wanted before but again I wasn't actually going to use subscribers I was going to do it because it's just more hassle but so I think you guys like being involved so yeah we're going to build up another colony I'm going to test this here and then obviously we're going to go and colonize as many places as possible and we can have some epic wars now as well if this works because I can yeah just literally load up as many things as I want at each base which is very helpful and yeah it'll be easier so it saves me having to send lots of stuff over which takes time and effort so yeah feel free to wanna make suggestions again and we'll get this populated pretty quick once we've got this set up hopefully I just really hope this works it should do because once you plug these in to a connector it becomes docked so it will be one ship so all the parts we connect should just all share resources and that's pretty much it so really thanks for the people that stayed um, I have been checking, I had checked my social blade stats for the last four weeks and I was still getting you know 10, 20 sometime. one day I got like 50 or 60 subscribers in a day and I was pretty shocked and I felt bad because I hadn't made a video for so long but I'm back and I'll try and do um, maybe every other day I don't want it to take over like last time I was literally my whole day was revolving around making Kerbal videos and I got in a bit of a rut and it kind of made me unhappy and I want to kind of you know enjoy what I do here so yeah I'm not going to take any long breaks again it would just be kind of every other day maybe three or four videos a week but that's more than enough I think 
and I do want to start playing other games as well um, but I'm not sure if you guys will be into them so for now I'll just do Kerbal and that's my extra long goodbye as usual so hope you enjoyed it and yeah I'll see you next episode Bye.